In this video, we will learn how to use Git as a source or version control system for ABAP systems. We will be able to import GitHub projects into our SAP ABAP systems. We will be able to store or commit our ABAP code directly to the uh, GitHub projects. So how do we do this? Uh, on the docs.ababgit.org website, we can download all the source code we need in our SCP system in order to use Git. So we click on this link here and then select all the code on this page and copy that into our clipboard. Then we go to our SCP system and create a new report. Let's call it zabop git and create this report. as an executable program. Save it, and then, uh, in this case, I'll do it as a local object. Of course, if you want to transport this to another system, uh, you have to assign it to a package. We paste all the code that we copied into this report, and then we save this report. Once it's saved, we activate it. Now that it is created, we can start using it. There's one problem. In order for uh, the SCP system to communicate with uh, GitHub, we need to have uh, established an SSL connection. And SCP by default supports an older version of uh, SSL than uh, GitHub accepts. So we have to set a few system parameters in this system. In order to set these parameters, we can go to the transaction RZ10 and we are going to modify our default profile. Now these changes will take effect only when we restart the system, so we will have to restart the system after we do this. So there's two parameters that need to be added. One is called SSL slash client underscore cipher suites, and if it doesn't exist yet, we create it and assign this value here. I will also provide uh, this value in the um, comments to the video, but you can also find it um, here in the documentation or SSL setup. All the way at the bottom, you will see these two parameters on the docs.abapkit.org uh, site under SSL setup. So we set these, uh, para this parameter, click copy, then we go back and then uh, there's another one. It's not SSL client underscore cipher suites, but it's just SSL slash cipher suites. The value that we want to set for that one is this. Uh, that one you can see also on the page that I just discussed. So once again, click copy, confirm. Here on this screen, you also click copy, and then you click, you, you go back, and then uh, save the profile and then of course in this case there's some invalid uh, incorrect parameters but that's not really a problem uh, do you want to activate yes and now this profile is active now this profile will only be taken into account after the next system restart as it's uh, specified here or explained here in this pop-up so keep that in mind that you have to reset your system Right, so that's done. Now we also need to import the certificates of GitHub so the communication between your SCP system and GitHub will uh, go correctly. That is also explained here. We can have uh, a quick look at it. So if you go to GitHub, GitHub page, and you click in your browser on the uh, site information screen, and then here you'll see their certificate. So you can click on the certificate and that gives you the certificate information. What we want is to copy this certificate to a file. So we choose copy to file and store that uh, file somewhere on the file system. Dot .cer, which is the first certificate, and store it. Now you will see that there's a pod, a certification pod in, the, in this tab as well, where you have three different levels. Now this one is the one we already stored but SCP also needs to trust this certificate and this certificate. So each one of those will also have to be stored. So the same way, copy to file, 
this one we'll call it two and then we have the top one view it details copy to file next next I will call that three so now we have three certificates stored for github go back to our SAP system and as is explained here in the guide we have to enter the S trust transaction so we go into the S trust transaction go into change mode Once we're in change mode, we click on SSL client, SSL client anonymous. And then we're going to import our certificates. We see here at the bottom an import button. Click that and then select import. We're going to import all three of them. So first one. And then click add to certificate list and it will show up here. Take the second one. it as well and the third one okay. so now our SAP system knows all the certificates that it needs to know in order to communicate with github now we log out and we restart the SAP system now restarting the SAP system it depends on how your system is set up how you do this it could be uh, in Windows using the administration panel or in Linux by just uh, using the appropriate command or if it's a virtual machine you can just restart the virtual machine as well that will also work once the system is restarted you can log back into the system And then we can go to C38 and execute the program that we created. So now we have started the Git client, SAP Git client, our Git client. Uh, if we want to clone an existing repository into our SAP system, we can click plus online and we enter the URL of the Git package. So I prepared a test package here, ABAP Git example, and it simply contains only one ABAP report, which is just a hello Git um, report. So it's just a program that says hello Git. That's all there is to it. So we go to the home page of this repository, select clone or download, and copy the HTTPS URL by clicking this button here then in the SAP system you just enter the URL of the git project and we need to create a package and that package will be the one where all the code from the git repository is uh, created in so I will create one called Z underscore ABAP git example so the package doesn't exist yet so I can click create package give it a description and then uh, store it I have to create a transport and then click OK now all the code will be cloned into that package we can see here this is the repository we can see all the code now I pull the current version into my SCP ABAP system and then uh, it will create all of these objects that were in the git repository so now this report will be created and contain the code that was in our git repository and this is the uh, report here so we were able to uh, pull data from github into our SCP system now what happens if we make a change to it change to the report 
activate it. Go back to our Git client here. Use our uh, repository that we have here. Now we want to stage our changes. You can see this one was changed. We can add everything by clicking here or add one by one. In this case, this one was uh, added and we can commit it by clicking on commit. Now we have to uh, specify our um, email address that's optional uh, and a commit comment. And then uh, we can commit it. Now you will have to uh, enter your username and password for GitHub. And then it will, if you have authorization to commit to this repository, it will commit the change. Now, if we go back to our uh, GitHub repository, we'll see that uh, there is a new, now it's at three commits. If we refresh this, it will now say four commits. I will see that the latest commit was made here and we can see exactly what this commit is all about. Um, and here's a change that was made. So everything is registered in our GitHub repository. So with that, we were able to uh, import a Git repo GitHub repository into our ALAP system, make a change and push that back to GitHub.